This is a special report from About Space Today. Welcome. I'm David Denault, and thanks for joining me today in a special report. UFOs are back in the news, and we may soon get some answers from the government. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Research Community is also cautiously excited. As Christopher K. Mellon, ex-Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence in both the Clinton and W. Bush administrations explained on Tuesday, the $2.3 trillion spending bill freshly enacted Intelligence Authorization Act, and it is calling for an unclassified and all sources report on the UFO issue within the next 180 days. I'll return with more on this story next on About Space Today. Are you ready to fly away on a dream vacation? For cruises and all-inclusive resort vacations, call D&D Cruise and Tours at 877-747-8631. That's 877-747-8631. And see us on Facebook, D&D Cruise and Tours, where your dreams become a reality. Welcome back. The secret search for UFOs began in 2007 with Harry Reid secretly funding $22 million over a five-year period. And the program began in the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency. Former Senator Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada said the U.S. government has been hiding key details about UFOs for years. In my opinion, this is something that we should be studying. And as I said, it's a worldwide phenomenon, if not just here in the United States. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. We as a country are certainly not doing what we should do. This is an area that is important to not only our country, but to the world. And I know that other countries are doing more than we're doing. And I think that um, that's not good. Um, that. I think we need to do a little work, and we're not doing enough scientific research. Um, and there are people hungry to do that. We have academics who are trained in all the sciences. Uh, a grant to a college would be a tremendous help. Um, they could put it out to bid, you know, like they do, find out who would, who would do the best job. But the way it is now, we're doing nothing. Because I don't think no one has the answers. And that is too bad because there are answers out there. But we're not going to get answers just by hoping they come. We can have to take some work. Reed has said he has visited Area 51 several times, but whatever he saw, he's never commented about. About Space Today will continue to follow this story. I'm David Denault with a special report, UFOs Back in the News. This has been a special report from About Space Today.